Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is 30, verse 32. He says, if you play the fool and exalt yourself, or if you plan evil, clasp, clap your hand over your mouth. <laughs> In other words, stop. You know, have you ever woke up someday and tried to think, I wonder how I can achieve today. I wonder how I can succeed today. And one of the ways that we can do this is constantly draw attention. We think sometimes constantly drawing attention to ourselves. You know, that we're that somehow or another we wake up and think that everybody in the world's forgot us, so we've got to make our presence known. That's exalting yourself. And so you go out through your day and the person that's on the forefront of your mind is you. And that that leads to some disastrous thinking, to some disastrous ways to, I mean, even in the midst of your workplace, if you're trying to make your presence known, if you want exalt you, you know who you're going to be thinking about? You're going to think about you. Your attention's going to be on you. And if others don't see your, um, what you are capable of doing, you will become over the top in trying to prove who you are. And that's why he's saying, clap your hand over your mouth. Children of God, that's not our calling. That's not what the Lord is inviting us into. He's inviting us in to deny ourselves and to take up our cross. That's a, t that's a huge calling, but it's so freeing. Because have you ever done that other and tried to prove who you are and ended up being a fool? That's the definition of a fool. And so there's something about when we are so secure in who Christ is and that we know he's got our name, he's got our back, He's the one we want to make famous. And my, our attention, therefore, goes from being me to Christ or me to those around me. You know, people can't stand to be around other people who are always thinking about themselves. And so I'm going to challenge you. If, if you think, oh, I don't sit around and think about myself or I don't try to exalt myself or, you know, and I've said these same things. But the Lord's really challenged me in conversations, in your place of work. When the conversations turn on other people, how do you respond? How does that make you feel? If you're totally overlooked, are you there cheering them on? Are you there wanting to prove, wait a minute, what about me? And in our competitive workplaces, most of the time it's, what about me? What about me? And we want to prove who we are. But instead of doing that, value where the value others. Let your mind be thinking about them and so you may have to purposely make this part of your day is to when you're you realize that all you keep hearing is talk about yourself, that you want to talk about yourself. You interrupt conversations to make sure that people know you. And so you make it about you and it all becomes about you. My challenge is make it about other people. Make your conversations turn toward the focuses upon them, valuing them and lifting them up. That's wisdom valuing other people, lifting them up to a different place. And you may be, you may think, well, this feels really awkward at first. Yeah, it probably will, especially if you're a person who likes to talk about themselves. Talk about the value of others. And my friend, have a blessed day.